What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shantia, and I am back with another banger, another word, okay? So listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is Golden Hour. Golden Hour, okay? And so listen, so God led me to Scripture. He led me to Proverbs 21, verses 30 and 31, right? And it says, There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. That's somebody's word right there. But then verse 31 says, The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Okay? And so let me tell you how God brought this word to me. So last night, y'all, I had a dream about a horse. This is my second dream that I had about horses. Okay? But this specific dream last night blew my entire mind away. Okay? So in the dream, I'm like in the field. I want to say it might have been some type of celebration or party at somebody's house um but there's this huge house but anyway so i'm outside and there's a horse and um there were some other horses kind of like far away but this one horse literally caught my attention the horse y'all it changed colors it went from like this royal blue to like this tan color okay but the hair on the horse was golden the hair on the horse was golden, okay? So picture like a royal blue horse with golden hair and then it changed colors from royal blue to like this pretty tan um, to with golden hair, right? And it's just riding around, okay? And so um, I see the horse, but in the dream, I was the first person who spotted the horse, right? And as I spotted it, I'm literally communicating with the people that were outside of the house. And I'm like, y'all look, you know, like look at the horse. And a lot of them began to run inside the inside the house um, away from the horse, okay? And so let me just tell y'all something, how God broke it down. So what I wrote was um, horses symbolize power, glory, and high ranking, okay? Blue is a powerful um, color that's royalty, okay? And so God also said that horses symbolize wealth and the horse that was in the dream was running with so much boldness so much strength and confidence like kind of like as if you're running like with a breeze you know and your hair is just flowing the hair on the horse was just flowing it was just so gorgeous okay and so and then i wrote down um I wrote down, preparation is key to victory, okay? Our minds and souls have to be fed um, um, spiritually and mentally um, in order to prepare for the battles ahead. I, and, but then I said, but it is God who gives us victory, okay? So that he can get the victory and the glory. So let me tell you the other part of the dream. So that happened and then the dream switched. And if y'all follow me on my channel, a lot of y'all know that I always, right before I'm about to wake up, it's like God places um, a random gospel song on my spirit, right? And so this morning I was singing... Um, the song glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to God can you help me say okay listen a lot of y'all know that song because I grew up in that song and so I started singing it and when I began to write down my dream about the horse and God was just speaking how horses symbolize power and glory okay in war I literally was like oh my goodness like that's the reason why God gave me that and that's why I gave the title golden hour okay so then I wrote down um um, so then I wrote down, I spotted the horse first, okay, um, and told others to look at it. But many ran into the house scared of the glory, okay? And so listen, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me at this point, And he said, some ran from the glory. He was like, because it didn't look a certain way. Listen, child. I don't want to come here to snatch y'all edges off, okay? But listen, when the Holy Spirit said that, I was like, oh my goodness. So this is a word for somebody. This is your golden hour, okay? God is, is everything is already in motion, okay? And it is God. The scripture says it is God, okay, who gives the glory. It is God who gives the glory so that God can get the glory, okay? And so it is God who gives you victory so that God can get victory, okay? And so in this hour, God is saying, I'm not just doing this for you. I'm not just blessing this for you. I'm not just giving this to you for you, okay? But it is for God, okay? So that He everything can point back to him so that he gets the glory. But when he brought up that some are running from the glory because it doesn't look a certain way, the people that were sitting in front of the house were scared 
was scared of the horse because they've never seen a horse that was royal blue with golden hair. They've never seen a horse that was tan with this golden hair, okay? And so some of y'all might be in a season where you might be running from the glory. My God, Holy Spirit, speak. You might be running from the glory. You might be running from certain blessings because it doesn't look a certain way. Or maybe you're scared to succeed. Or maybe you're scared to take that leap of faith. Or scared to make that jump. Or scared to make a decision. Whatever it is, God is saying that the glory is here, okay? This is your golden hour. But let me just tell y'all something hilarious, okay, about the dream. So the dream didn't stop there. So after the people were scared, I literally had went in the house because I'm trying to, you know, tell the people to help them. Like, that's a pretty horse. Like, why are y'all running? Like, no, like, it's okay, right? And so as I'm walking in the house, the horse comes in the house. The horse comes in the house. And let me tell y'all something this word is not for everybody but when you step into a season because there are seasons where the enemy cannot touch you job okay there are seasons where you will be blessed double portion okay and a lot of y'all are in those seasons right now and let me tell you something even when you try to run from the glory <laughs> The glory going to find you. The glory is going to run after you. If you try to run from the glory, just know that the glory is going to run after you, okay? And so that's what I saw in the dream when the horse was just running around just playing and as I'm walking in the horse I'm walking in the house, the horse comes in the house with me, okay? And so the people in there had no option but to just look and just be in awe. Okay, so listen, y'all. I pray that you, should, that you can receive this word and that this word bless you. But right now, God is saying that this is your golden hour. This is your golden hour where glory is going to find you. Glory is already chasing you down, okay? And God said, I'm not giving you this victory. I'm not giving you this glory for you, but I'm giving you this glory for myself so that I can get the victory, so that people can know that I did it. God, God loves to move in miraculous major ways so that we, A, can remember that it was not us, but only God, and B, so that others can literally live off of our testimony testimony and and um exercise our faith to know that God can do it for them too okay so listen child I pray that you all can receive this blessed and prosperous word I love you all and I will see you all next time bye